Hello, Roger Killen here. 54, from day, 54 days from now is October the 19th, and October the 19th is when Get Inspired Talks produces two events at uh, Vancouver's Playhouse Theatre. One is in the afternoon, 2 to 5, and the other is the, in the evening from 7 until 10 o'clock. Today was dominated by the development of a training module designed to help our speakers uh, uh, create uh, powerful calls to action. Uh, now this is really, really important to get inspired talks. We are addicted to action. Uh, our uh, tagline is inspiring brave actions. Uh, we exist in order to uh, give our live and online audiences good reasons to take action so that they can tackle humanity's pressing problems. Now the call to action is just a small little piece of every talk, uh, certainly less than 5%, but it is the most powerful, the most important piece of every one of uh, Get, uh, Get Inspired Talk speakers talks. Uh, in fact, we recommend that our speakers start writing their scripts with their calls to action, and then they reverse engineer the script around the call to action so that every element of their script, every element of their talk, is focused on making the calls to action as compelling, as powerful, as persuasive as possible. Because this is the only way we can cause action to happen. So what does a training module that's all about creating powerful calls to action consist of? There are uh, three elements. Uh, the first is, uh, how many calls to action uh, are enough? Uh, the answer is really a rule of thumb, and it's no more than three. Uh, as soon as you have more than three, uh, the uh, choice paradox kicks in. And the choice paradox uh, simply says that too much choice results in uh, paralysis analysis. Uh, the second is uh, a definition, a description for our speakers of the attributes that make for powerful calls to action. And there are, yes, eight of them. Yes, eight. Uh, the third aspect of a, of a call to action is that the call to actions have to be synergistic with the support program that is offered to our live and online audiences after they have heard each of our speakers' talks. That's what today was all about. Let's call it the call to action day, or sorry, the call to action training module design day. Roger and out.